Hello community, hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to discuss how to create component in Angular. If you haven't subscribed Weblens channel, please subscribe, like and share the video. That is why we started with one the app component. It on one hand in normal Angular component, but on the other hand, it is also kind of special because it serves us a, as a root component. It is in the end listed here in the app module. In this bootstrap array, which tells hey this is the special component you should bootstrap the whole application with that component being a root component so all other components we create will not be added to the index html their selector will not be added there their selector will be added to the app component html file because this is now the root component of our application where we add the other parts of component. So let's add one component in the application. So our all application components are creating in un, under the app folder. Okay, so let's create the new folder of other. Suppose if I want to fetching data from the server, so I will create one folder which is name is a server and I will create another component file like inside the server folder server dot component html this is the html file let's create the ps file also server so i also discussed this thing in the previous video so html is only used for server dot html if you write any css in the server component dot css it will only apply on the server dot component dot html ds and in the ts file you can write the business logic okay so uh, let's start with uh, to writing the code in the component so to tell the angular compiler this is the component file for that we have to add the decorator of component here you can find the decorator of component from the angular dot angular code so let's add the selector here name of selector is app server okay and what is the temp url in the temp url file you have to give the your html file so server dot component dot html okay and in the style url you have to give css file okay so here we are getting an error so let's declare the class of this component export so export you can use when you want to import this component into the another component if it is the static component then if you didn't write the export then you cannot import that component into the other component so let's like a server component server so you can write your business logic over here so i will show you a simple title over here like title this is the server component okay and i will import this component into app.component.html file because it is our the root component all all shared component will be included into the app.component.html file because we are bootstrapping this component into the app dot module if you are bootstrapping the another component that the component consider as a the root component okay so how can we add that component into the app.component.html so for that we have to use selector this is the selector you can say is a you can say is a tag library also so tag selector also this is the app server and i will add this server into this component and yes you also have to declare that component into the app dot module so then angular compiler know this module where i can find okay so add and let's run the application okay here i we haven't added the title over here so let's edit a html thing html title we already added in the ts file okay so that is not showing in the web page because before server dot component dot html file doesn't exist any code and now we added the p uh, title over here and now we are going to save let's check here is the showing this is the server component okay so this is the one way you can create the component and another way is uh, like you can also create component using the cli okay i will show you how how can you create component using cli in the next video if you have any doubts you can comment in this video and thank you for watching this